I will sit on the bench. Yeah, and you'll next make it. Next to you. Oh, okay. There's and I'll room. look over your shoulder. And if you're doing anything wrong. Well, sure. You might need a phone book to sit on or something. So most of my work is blown um, in the hot shop. Normally I do work with gaffers. Um, so working here with the museum staff is pretty exciting and something that I am used to doing, which is fantastic. Um, and I do a lot of cold working on the surface, so a lot of pairing back that shiny um, fire polished surface to a matte surface and lots of um, engraved lines on the surface, so lots of drawing on the surface. I really like those innate properties of the material, so working with you know monochrome colours um, with the engraving means that I'm, I'm really just revealing those basic properties of the glass, so it's that dark glass against uh, or using that engraving process is just actually chipping away at the glass so you're actually using those basic things about the glass that that highlight what the material can do which I find really exciting um, so it's nothing sophisticated it's quite elemental um, and it's a really nice contrast I really like that kind of black against white that's so, like a wash really yep. thin light wash and then that's a little bit denser and I want the line of colour to go up there. You were right on the spot. I think it's really hard when you're you know when you're working with gaffers you know you're conscious of time and money and you know making work for exhibition it's really hard to actually just have a have a time to play and explore and um, I really have only scratched the surface with what I can do in the hot shop I do work with form a lot um, and I use a lot of surface cold working to express my ideas but this is really a chance to actually use color and line in the hot shop and explore and push my ideas a little bit further. And some of these ideas are things that I've kind of had brewing for quite a long time in my sketchbooks and just really haven't had the time just to throw it out there and play. And I think having a stretch of five days to actually work on something means you can, you can take it day by day, you can take steps, you know, get things out of the hot shop, have a look at them, um, see what's happening, see what's working, make some ob observations and then actually build upon that, which is normally something that you can't do over a long stretch of time. So to have five consecutive days means that you can actually really push an idea um, a, a really long way, which is exciting. Yeah, we've been playing around with different ways of getting that line um, precise and trying to keep the gauge of the line um, quite even. So we've done it in a few different ways, trailing glass around the surface. We've done it um, joining two different cups uh, with a sandwich line of, of colour in between. So we're really trying to unpack every way that we can actually explore that, that idea of that tidal line. I guess my goal for the residency would be to come away with um, a couple of new ways of, of getting that sense of tension within the work that I can, I can push further within, within my work. So. Yeah, and really, if I didn't have these five days to work, it would probably take me a couple of years to progress as far as I will after, after this week. So I'm a really slow worker, so it's kind of um, like being on fast track for this week.